Good morning, and welcome to another episode of Motivational Sundays with Kevin and Friends. This is um, brought to you by RMK Productions Network, RMK Productions TV, and RMK Productions 10 United, the podcast network. We're all here um, celebrating hope, helping other people every day. Sunday Motivations are brought to, brought to you by a group of people, my business partner, Raymond Porch, my uh, business partner of RMK Productions, Marjorie uh, Phoenix, and my friends, Bruce Hill, Samantha Foster, and Marsha, brand new to the club. If you can um, go ahead and, and put your real face on instead of your screenshot, because we're all friends here, uh, we're going to start. And this week, we um, so Marsha, since you're brand new, so you'll uh, we'll let you know every week, one of us brings a quote, either created by ourselves, something that's landed on us, and we give our perception, interpretation of the quote, throw it out to the room, and we all share. So um, there's no one standing in, in, in the, the waiting room. We're all family. So uh, Bruce, if you don't mind, um, go ahead and give us the quote and share. So... Uh, for this morning, one of my favorite quotes and really a concept I live by, success leaves clues, right? Success leaves clues. And so to tie it together, I recently started a, a business coaching called New Skills, New You. And the premise is very simple. If you learn a new skill, you can create a whole new life for yourself. And that build upon a quote, success leaves clues, and I, and I love it because look, 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 it seems, it seems um, like this grandiose concept, right? It seems complicated. It seems um, maybe philosophical, but it's so simple. If you want to bake a cake and you've never done it before, what do you do? You, you grab a recipe, right? Success leaves clues. And if you are, are taking a class, you, you're not going to go into the field and do the research and write a textbook. You're just gonna read the textbook, okay? If you're gonna play basketball, you'll probably watch um, Kobe Bryant, right? Rest in peace. You'll probably watch Michael Jordan, maybe LeBron James, depending on your style of position. You don't have to reinvent the game of basketball. You copy someone else who is successful. And this is a beautiful thing about life and business. You don't get in trouble for copying other people's success. Now, let's be careful with that. No one's gonna be mad if you copy Tiger Woods swing, right? Tiger Woods doesn't have a trademark on his swing. You can copy him, it's fine. I encourage you to do it. If you're a golf, golfer, go watch Tiger Woods, line it up and, and just copy it over and over again. So, but there's a difference between copying and stealing, right? We're not gonna, we're not gonna steal people's books and, and scratch out their name and write ours. That's not what I'm talking about. But if you see that successful coaches uh, write a book, hey, you're gonna write one for your own. If you see that, that marathon runners stretch first and eat well, I'm gonna stretch first and eat well. Success leaves clues. You don't have to figure anything out. We're, we're alive in such a beautiful time in this 2021 because everything is documented. Almost everything is documented. If you want to figure out how to plant a garden, how to can vegetables, there's probably a YouTube video for that, right? If you want to become a better speaker, there's courses for that. Hey, let's say you want to trade cryptocurrency. I don't even know what cryptocurrency is. Hey, what do you do? You can Google it, right? Success leaves clues. So the secret to success, what I teach my, my, my students and clients over and over again, I said, look, don't figure it out go copy someone that's left the clues for you. And that is a bit of humility, right? We're releasing our pride, we're stepping away from our ego when we realize, hey, the very few of us are gonna reinvent the wheel. It's round, it rolls, copy it. Success leaves clues. And that is such an encouragement to folks who, who are starting from the beginning. And it's so inspirational because they're like, hey, I know what my first step needs to be. And I know that it's possible. And sometimes that's all you need to know. That's all you need to know to get going. So you look around for whatever it is you wanna do. You wanna be a clothing designer, right? If, if you want to be a bodybuilder, all you have to do is look around, find someone that you admire, that you look up to, that you respect and copy their process. And you will get their results because guess what? 
success leaves clues. I'm Bruce Hill and I'm done speaking. Oh, Kevin. Uh, I said, that's all right. Uh, hand claps, finger claps, all, all the other good stuff. That was some, some wisdom. Um, let Marjorie, you want to, you, you want to go dance on that for a little bit? Sure. I'll take that. I, I, I love that quote. Um, it's true. Success does leave clues. Everything is out there for us to be able to model, not so much copy per se, but to, to model and to bring our uniqueness to it. I always believe that, um, you know, I want, I don't want to be the smartest person in the room. I want to be around those that are smarter than me, that know more than me. Um, I believe in sitting at the feet of those that I can glean from, those that are older than me, those have, that have gone before me, and really taking in their life lessons. When I was going through a really difficult time in my life and I wanted to know how to overcome this situation and what I can get out of it, I looked at people who also went through those things and are now shining and are successful in their life. Um, in building this business that we're building now, this is something new, right? And so I might have some business acumen, but there's still parts of this that I don't know, right? And so I'm going to look for those people that have built it, that have done the work. I'm going to look at, you know, the Oprah Winfrey's that have been able to take their gift and their skill from one place to another. I'm going to want to read the books by people who have um, had success in business, in negotiations, in, you know, especially women as well, right? For women, as we step into those roles, I, I feel that there's a lot of experts out here. There's a lot of people talking about what they did, the money they made, and all the success that they have. And one of the things that I always look for is who are they modeling? Who are they listening to? Who are they learning from? That's a key thing for me. Because if they are always coming up like they're it and they the it, <laughs> then that's a problem. Because then I don't know what's getting poured into you, who's pouring into you, where you're getting all of your information from. So, um, so yeah, I think that it's important for us to look at the success of others. They're leaving a breadcrumb trail, right? I was telling someone the other day that there is there will never be another Amazon. No, but there might be something better than Amazon because then what you can do is you can look at what he built and then you can probably come up with something better. And so that's that's the success leaving clues there, right? You just sort of look at what other people have done. You don't have to do it the same and say, you know what, I can see how I can improve this. I can see how I can gear this towards this particular market and I can move and, and build on that. So you don't have to start from scratch. It's already there, right? Just like you said with the cake mix, I love baking, right? So I'm going to use that, that basic baking, like the bake a yellow cake or a pound cake. But guess what else I might do? I might throw a little something else in there too, just to spice it up. And it make it unique. To, exactly. Make it unique to me. I love doing liquor infused um cakes and pies so I'm just you know so I'm gonna make it unique for me and so you know I that's why I love that quote because it just shows us that the the foundation is there it's laid for us but we can also bring what's unique for us our talent our skills our ideas to that and make it something new and leave other clues for others coming behind us mm. Mm. Way to go, way to go. Before you move along, I do want to challenge one thing uh, Marjorie said. Well, I, I like the concept of sitting at other feet, but something that's came out that slips into my thinking, she said, and, and learn from someone older. Um, I don't want you to limit who you learn from or value their wisdom simply because of older. Because Mark Zuckerberg took his company public. It was a billion dollar IPO before he was 30. Uh, Naomi Osaka knocked out Serena Williams. She's not even 30. 
uh, Tiger Woods, by the time he was 30, he'd been golfing for almost 25 years. So um, I want to encourage you to look at their success. And then contra on the other side, conversely, does anyone know Ron Legrand? Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay, real estate investor. He's been investing, or excuse me, he's been teaching investing for 40 years, but I don't know if he's made an investment in the last 15. Well, that's significant uh, because there was a crash 15 years ago. The market's changed. So he's older. He's been doing, I've been doing this for 40 years. Um, so respectfully, like everything you said, I love it. I like, um, you know, taking that base mix and adding your, your flavor to it. Uh, but let's make sure we, we lean on their success and not on their, on our age. Boy, that hurt my, 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 my feelings because uh, <laughs> I, 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 I'm going to lean on it just a, l- a little bit because if you, if you go back to where knowledge comes from, uh, historically, it always has come from the elders. Where do you think the young people that you cited today got that information? Frederick Douglass didn't become Frederick Douglass because he was Frederick Douglass. Frederick Douglass sat at the, on the footsteps just the same way the disciples sat with Christ and learned from, from him and they took it. Every wisdom is passed down to others. Just like you, you, you throw a handful of seeds into a highway, one of the seeds is going to find that crack and grow. Yeah. Well, I, that's, that's a very good point. I think Marjorie uh, alluded to that. She said, hey, who did they learn from? So that's a, yeah. that's a very good point. I'm glad you said that. Glad yep. You said. Samantha. I, I love this topic um, today. So success. I tell you, one of the biggest things I've learned about success is failure, learning to fall forward and not to be afraid to fail. And if you look at some of the most successful people, whether they're in sports, whether they're, you know, big investors, big business owners, they've all failed again and again and again. And they were tough, right? They were tough skinned from all the criticism that the public throws at them. They keep moving forward. They never stopped. They always got back up. So I think that is one of the biggest things um, for uh, our keys to success is just never giving up. And, you know, talk about reinventing the well. There are some things in our society that we do need to reinvent. I think Um, they just don't work properly. And don't be afraid to reinvent it. Don't be afraid to start a new type of foundation um, for our society. That's part of us growing. Um, but again, it comes with um, the the world of criticism, right? Where you're going you're going to receive opposition. You just got to be tough, and you may not get it right the first time, but keep at it until you do get it right. Especially if you're aligned, your actions are aligned with your values and your beliefs. You're going to get it. I promise you. So don't be afraid to fail forward, and certainly don't be afraid of opposition. Just uh, it makes you stronger, builds character. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Another hand clap. Raymond, the cloud. Unmute yourself. Good morning, sir. Uh, good morning. Uh, good to see everybody. Nice to meet you, Samantha. Um, Bruce, good to see you, man. I know I've been I've been MIA uh, for a little bit, uh, moved and some different things, a lot of movement in my life. So it's cool to be here. Let me just say that. Um, and I love this quote. Uh, you was fascinating as I listened to everybody. And I don't know if you, you, you all can hear this, but it's a generative conversation. So Bruce started with the, with the legs and, and the, <clears throat> the flat part of the table and that like you, you, you can find recipes for, for the things that you want to pursue because success means something different to all of us. You know, um, that's my grandson. So sorry about that. Um, <clears throat> So I love the foundational piece. And then Marjorie said, you know, you can add, you know, your own, you know, ingredients to the existing re- recipe. So if you follow how this conversation in and of itself is iterative and it's an example of what, what Bruce opened with, if, if you're following what I'm saying. Um, one, the only piece I would add is that you define your success right? You define your success because success means something different to all of us. And like this conversation, it is, it is a process um, where you're always on the approach is kind of how I think about um, the clues along the way. 
So I'm, I'm selecting how I respond here because I believe that as a part of this conversation, I did show up, Samantha, with beliefs and values about what, what success is. But then as I listen, right, there's a foundational piece to, to, to what I believe in terms of success. And that is there are, there are things that exist in the world um, that, I, that I would like to pursue um, relative to my life. Um, I have to add some pieces for it to be relative to my life, right? And so I think this conversation is a perfect example uh, of that synthesis of those things. Um, so yeah, I, I love the quote and I, and I agree that, you know, that there's enough information out here for us to kind of, you know, synthesize these things. And, I, and the other piece I would add is this, um, I believe that people are more engaged towards the goals that they shoot for in this life when there's an emotional contact, right? So when you are invested on a personal level, meaning that like you do the thing because the thing makes you feel a way, then you're going to be resilient. You, when you fail, you're going to get back up. You know, I just believe that those things will happen organically because you're in pursuit of something that matters to you. And I think this is to Marjorie's point, you know, when you think about people who have been successful, it is important um, to one, identify why they feel or what they feel success is. And two, like, what are the things, you learn what the things are that are of value to them. You know, in American society, oftentimes success is anchored to what, right? Dinero, right? Money. And, and so what ends up in the crosshairs are the values. And so I always wonder, how can your values be in a cross here? Because for me, right, I statement, values are part of the internal piece that gives me, you know, um, the joy, right? So I love being an educator because, because there's great joy in it for me, internal joy. It's not about <clears throat> the six-figure salary I make or, 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 or anything like that. It's about the joy that emanates from inside that makes me feel like I'm contributing to something bigger than myself. So to me, that is an important part of being successful, right? So I think all of these pieces uh, play a part, but I think it's always important to start internal and identify what success means to you. And then the clues will be easier to identify as you add to them, as you go along, like the breadcrumbs you all referred to. You'll be able to incorporate when you fall or slip, you know, because there's an emotional contact internal, you'll be able to get up, you know, and dust off and, and keep it moving. And so, I'm um, Ray, uh, thanks for letting me share. This is uh, amazing, amazing. It is, you, all of you guys are a tough act to, to follow. I am so glad we put this together and listening to the, the different takeaways and perceptions and interpretations of a single quote is like what Bruce Lee said, life is like water. Every single time you put your, your you, you touch the water, the ripple is a little bit different. You know, um, an interpretation of what that ripple means to you is the same way that Ray defined it as what success is as an individual. You know, you, you go back and you take um, the, the original quote from uh, Bruce as he, he put it together that we need to, to, to go where someone has already been. That's the reason why I grade educators um, put um, pen to paper to make sure that people like the young people that Raymond uh, impact every single day. There's a roadmap, but it doesn't say you have to follow it. It just says, this is where I've been. Make your own imprint in, in, in the sand. <clears throat> you, you guys have heard me say this repeatedly. The first conversation I had with my son, when we brought him into talking with Kevin and son, I said, you are now the co-founder of the R&D department. Rip off and duplicate daily. All right. There's no such thing as my grandfather would say as an original idea. What makes an idea original is the person that acts upon it. And because of the conversation with Marjorie, the layers of cake, the conversation of um, Samantha, interpretation of, of great wise men, and the book that Bruce put in, and the work that Raymond is doing every single day. He, 
and, I, and I'll, I'll give this, I call Raymond the cloud. He is that uh, hand that holds those seeds that every single day that he makes an impression, he tosses that into the air. We call that education, not the government's education. It's education that comes from facts, that comes from, from a framework of someone's heart. And when those seeds land, they germinate and they grow. So anyone that is in earshot of being part or listening to Motivation Sundays with, with Kevin and friends, your inter interpretation of a quote today, your perception of a conversation that we have in your takeaway, and how you defined your own personal success, be original, be unique, but follow those great ones, both young and old, and then make your own imprint in this world and be consistent at it. Because what makes one person successful and another person just having a conversation about what success means to them is the work that they put in. Because people that are successful that leave nuggets, they basically do the work that other people won't do. And I'm gonna uh, leave that unless someone else wants to, to add to the takeaway. Um, and we're gonna um, end this with, um, who's gonna be up, up next for next week? Raymond. Let's bring the quote from the cloud next week. So uh, let's get ready. So I wanna thank all of our listeners for tuning in to another um, Motivational Sunday with Kevin and friends. We have Bruce, we had Marsha brand new. She had to leave because she is uh, going on her way to church, but she stopped in to do a drive-by. So I'm sure she'll be back. We have Samantha, we have the queen, we have Marjorie and we have the cloud. And I am Kevin McLemore. If you like this, please go to RMK Productions and network on our YouTube page, subscribe and follow. And thank you, have a glorious Sunday. And we're out.